Hello YouTube, we got the stove a blazing. We're just firing it back up. We've been in the house. It's only like 15 degrees outside. Uh, we're going to test the repaired hatchet here. So hang in there. We're getting ready to swing. Okay, be patient because we don't want the camera to fall over. So we just our new little tripod we showed in one of the videos. I like it. It's lightweight, but it can still fall over. Here we go. Uh, we put that little plastic thing back on here again. And we do have the sticker for this. It's made by Tabor. Uh, you'd have to look it up in another old video. So it's, it was worth the money that I paid for it. But here we go. Let me hang on to my camera. Ready? I don't have much strength like I used to. We're going to swing it hard. Let's get it back here again. Ready? We'll set it up and try it one more time. Okay, we're not going to hit this one as hard because there is a crack in here. And the crack is right there. So we're going to kind of hit it lightly and see what happens. Walnut splits really good when it's cured. It's some of the best fire starting wood I've ever had. It's really flammable. Okay, let's not hit it real hard. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's go for the big one. If you looked on top, you can see there's some there's some marks from last night I gave up. We'll try it one time to see what it does. You ready? No, nope, it's just too tough. It would twist too when it grows, you know, how it twists and it makes it harder. So that could be part of the problem with that. But what I do is I beat that through there with a hammer and then that's what helped mess it up. But I think it'll hold for another year, the rest of this winter and the next winter. So thanks for watching.